Sunday Night Football on NBC, Bengals at the Giants. I've got a free play with analysis coming up for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and we're breaking down the most highly bet game, heavily bet game of the week. It's the Sunday night game. It's always the most popular game to play. I don't want to call it the bailout game, but unfortunately it is for many people. And this week it's Bengals-Giants, and I do think there's value with Cincinnati. Now, look, they're off to a 1-4 and four start. I know it's scary, and there is a chance they've maybe tossed the town this season, but I don't think they have, and there's a few reasons why I like them in this spot. First of all, Normally, it would be a concern when you're coming off a high-scoring shootout loss to a divisional rival like Baltimore, and then you're playing on-the-road, non-conference road favorite. But the fact that this is the Sunday night spotlight national TV game, I think that'll ensure a focused effort from Cincinnati, and they can still save their season with a win here. In fact, the last two years, they've gotten off to sluggish starts in September as well, and then turned things around in October. Keep in mind, last year, they started 1-3 and three straight up, and then won four in a row straight up and against the spread. The year before that, they went 0-2 straight up in ATS and then won 14 of their next 16 games, went 14-2 and after that. Now, I realize they are 1-4 and this year, which is even a worse start than the last couple of seasons, but they could have easily won that game last week. And statistically speaking, they've actually played pretty well this year. Um, they're above average on offense, no question about it. The offense has not been the problem. They're averaging so far 6.3 yards per play, 28 points a game against teams that allow less than 24 and av- give up just 5.8. Now, the scoring defense is a concern with 29 points allowed, but when you look at the statistical numbers, yards per play, they give up 5.7, but they face some tough offensive opponents that average 5.8. Giants this year have been one of the weaker offenses in the league. They're averaging just 5.2 yards per play, so I do think Cincinnati can hold a very mediocre offense, a Giants offense in check, and the Giants are really struggling to run the ball. They're averaging just 3.9 yards per carry, but they're giving up over 5.1 yards per rush to opponents. So I like the matchup here for Cincinnati, and the fact that it is Sunday night football I think ensures a focused effort even after the disappointing 1-4 straight-up start this season. And just look at some of the opponents they have played this year. Uh, Kansas City, one-point loss. That Commander's Monday night home loss isn't looking as bad. Now the Commanders are 4-1 and one straight up. And then, of course, the Ravens last week, a three-point loss, a game in which they definitely could have won. This is a step down in class now against a struggling Giants offense and Giants team in general, and I think it's a good spot to fade New York after that somewhat misleading seven-point dog win last week. Their offense did play well at Seattle, but as we saw this past Thursday night, that Seahawks defense is not very good. Um, The Giants have struggled in other games this season, and I think they will struggle here. In fact, um, if you take out that Browns game, they've scored 18 or less, well, actually 21 or less in every game but that Seattle game last week. In fact, that was the first time they've gone over the total all season. They'd gone under the first four. Bengals, meanwhile, have gone over four out of five. So the over-under, we got two polar opposites here. But I do think that Bengals' offense is for real. I think their defense is better maybe than the points allowed indicates, and they can slow down a very mediocre Giants attack on Sunday night. Now, I would have liked this more at minus three or less. Unfortunately, it's at three and a half across the board, and it does look like the public sentiment is actually on Cincinnati. So although I'd recommend waiting normally and see if you can get a minus three by kickoff late Sunday night, I'm not sure it's going to drop down to that key number as, once again, the public does look like they're leaning towards the Bengals in this one. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? Side, total, player props. Love the player props when you guys throw them out there. Let me know what you're looking at here on the Sunday night tilt. And don't forget, I also have a preview for you for the Monday night football game, Jets-Bills, here on Wager Talk TV. Click subscribe and click that bell for instant alerts when I release these free play videos each and every week for college and pro football. And also, thumbs up like is always appreciated, and I'll keep these free play videos coming. Boom, click that thumbs up like. You did it. I appreciate it. And do comment below because I read all the comments and I reply back. Now, if you want my official best bets, you have to go to my page at wagertalk.com, and those are the strongest plays each and every week. If I'm using the game, my personal clients get it as well. You know, some of these free play videos make my best bet card. Most of them are just TV opinions for you as I try to do the high-profile games here each week. But my official best bets are the ones I release to my clients at Wager Talk, and boy, have they been doing well. As we enter the second week of October, we're up over 150 units of profit this year in all sports, and we still have two and a half months to go this calendar year. And it's not a surprise. I've been doing this for 29 straight seasons as a full-time professional sports handicapper, and I know how to win. I'm very selective, maybe one to three plays per day at most, but the selectivity pays off. The units one is still up there. In fact, this season, entering this season, and current, including this season, the last three seasons combined, nobody has won more units of profit ATS in college and pro football combined. I finished the baseball regular season on a 31-13 and 13 best bet run, and the NBA starts in less than two weeks. Why do I bring that up? Well, nobody 
has won more units in the NBA in the history of the website at wagertalk.com, and I'm number one the last three years combined in NBA profit as well. I know what you're thinking. Maybe I should get an All Sports All Access. And yes, you're correct. In fact, this is the only time of year you can get every major sport going at the same time. Football, baseball, and basketball. This next month is the only time that happens all year. So it is an excellent time to be an All Sports subscriber. And the opportunity has never been better. Right now, when you buy a one month, we're including the second month for just $99 more. That's right. It's a two month, 60 day special where you get that second month for just $99. No promo code needed. Offers good through this weekend on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Or if you're serious about a long term investment approach, you know the answer. The long term one year all access is the best value and the best package to have because you never miss a play and you get the next 365 straight days and nights of my best bets. And save over $800 instantly when you use promo code SM365. SM365 gets it down to just over $3 a day. That's just over a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes, the special offers. Just go to my page right now. They're all listed there with details. Take your time. Figure out which one works best for you. But don't drag your heels and wait any longer and watch any more winners pass you by. We are crushing it in all sports, and we will continue to crush it as this is honestly the best time of the year to be on board with every major sport going, baseball, football, and basketball at the same time. Check out the special offers on my page. Also, check out that daily free play as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media also, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.